Good afternoon. Welcome to Heart Rhythm TV. My name is Oliver Monfredi. I'm delighted to welcome Dr. Derek Chu from Calgary, Canada to join us today to describe his abstract on the MAPIT CRT trial. Derek, welcome. Thanks for having me here. Please go ahead and tell us uh, the details of your study. Yeah, so the, the MAPIT CRT trial, it was a randomized trial, and what we wanted to do was try and figure out, was there an imaging way to improve CRT response rates at time of implantation? Because we know, you know up to a quarter to 50% of people don't respond to CRT. So the whole point of the study was to randomize people to a web-based MRI-guided strategy for both RV and LVV placement uh, versus standard of care. And what we found was those who are randomized to this web-based MRI strategy, their ejection fraction actually improved compared to uh, standard of care significantly. Excellent. Can you tell us what were you looking at on MRI to be able to optimize the approach? Great question. So we were looking at um, three things. So unlike a lot of other imaging studies, we were looking at optimizing both LV and RV. Um, a lot of studies focus on the LV only. Uh, so things that we were looking for, placing both leads in an area free from scar. So um, the MRI did scar burden analysis. We were also looking at area of latest mechanical delay and then uh, guiding lead placement to maximize the distance between LV and RV lead. So those three things. Excellent. And were you performing live imaging uh, during the case to help guide lead placement? So we wanted to be as practical as possible. Right. So we avoided the whole fusion imaging, right. uh, old complex overlays. Okay. So what the platform did was it took routine cardiac MRI imaging. We generated the model and we just gave it to the implanting physician or has a roadmap and they correlated it with their own intraoperative. Understood. Uh, imid for imaging. Understood. And tell us the main outcomes. What, uh, what transpired when you did this? Yeah. So the primary outcome was at six months, we were looking for the proportion of people who had an ejection fraction um, that increased by 5% or more. So that was our marker of, uh, uh, LV remodeling or CRT response. So 66% uh, or 60% in the MRI guided arm improved. Okay. F only 50% improved by the, by that metric. So uh, understood. Yeah. And was that statistically significant? It was, it was. Excellent. And so where do you see this work getting us in five or 10 years time? Do you think we'll routinely be looking at MRI op guided optimization? I think, I think it'll be, so yes, I do think, um, MRI guided approaches will, like anything that we can do to improve CRT response, mm -hmm. we should take. And sure. this is, uh, this method without, it's not complex, you know, it, it does show an improvement in injection fraction. I think uh, the area is moving there. The big uh, caveat is between CRT and left bundle, where does everything kind of fit? Absolutely. And what about access to MRI up in Canada? Is that is that sort of uh, freely available for people pre-device implant or? Depending which center, okay. um, it can be uh, a bit challenging to obtain. Yeah. But uh, I would say, like these days, like with most um, uh, with most EP centers that are doing CRT implants, there is uh, there, there is access to cardiac MRI, and uh, you know we can use any baseline cardiac imaging to generate this web-based model. So it doesn't need to be MRI at time of implant or intraprocedurally. Excellent. Well, congratulations on a really wonderful imp uh, abstract, Dr. Chu. And, uh, you know, anything that uh, improves the field of cardiac uh, rhythm, uh, you know, management is, uh, is a great interest to me. And I know that our, our viewership. So thanks again. Thank you so much.